review. Sorry for the late review on the flash, but yeah, it was the Avengers. <laughs> it was Avengers weekend. Sorry, guys. I'm pretty sure if you guys haven't watched it, go watch that movie. Uh, anyways, but uh, we have um, let's see, season five, episode nineteen today, and we have twenty three, three more episodes. 20, three more episodes left, and then the season will end, and we will go on a long break until uh, San Diego Comic Con, and they come back with the review, and the new episode, season does not come back until October. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so episode 19 is called Snow Pack. So the episode starts us off with Barry sending Nora back to her original timeline 2049 and he goes and sees Thawn himself, telling Thawn to stay away from his daughter and then when Barry returns back to his original timeline, Iris has found out that he had taken their daughter and put her back in her timeline. So she, they get into an argument, exchange yes. some words and Nora, I mean Iris feels like Nora wasn't wrong was not wrong because she explained the reason why she did all that already but Barry doesn't agree with it and um because he looks at it and that that not only did their daughter lie but their daughter kept going back to Thawne and so they weren't seeing from eye to eye and um I just think we're gonna be talking about that that scene was like damn I mean Good job to Gran and Candice for doing it so well. Yes. And um, their, their chemistry definitely kicked in. Yeah, kicked yeah. in and it was really good, but damn, it was like, wow. It felt really real. So, honestly to me, so unhappy with Iris. I'm sorry. Me too. Like, I understand, like, there is two sides to it, but just so unhappy with it. Like, you seriously. can't forgive Thon. Yeah, like, you just can't, and, like, the man, I'm... The man always has a plan. Yeah, and it's, like, sorry, but she kind of deserved what he said to her. If only he killed your mother in front of you, then you would know how it feels. Yeah, you, you can Damn. tell he was... He was they, they did a really good job at making it where when she said that, it hurt him a lot. So he, yeah. he just said it. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah, so, um... That, and then that leads to where they go on like giving each other space and everything like that. And then um, she is determined to like, you know, leave him a letter and kind of like, you know, ask for a divorce in a way. But Cecile can actually read mine, you know, so, like she was reading mine and stuff like that. So she tells Ralph that like she's determined to do something. And Ralph follows Iris and Iris is going to time travel back to 2049 to... Oh. For yeah. <laughs> forward, forward, not uh, backward. It's so confusing because Barry keeps going back. So she's gonna travel forward to see their daughter, and um, what is it? Ralph is gonna help her. Now in 2049, Dawn is be busy teaching Nora about the negative speed force because she is like she just wants to go back to see her father. But every time she turns to the speed force, Barry will know. Yes, yeah. which is which is cool. Um, it kind of we can it kind of hints to us more that obviously Barry is the source of energy from the Speed Force. So anybody who who goes through it or or taps into it, Barry can feel it. And all the Barry Allens, I wouldn't just say just this Barry Allen, but all the other Barry Allens who are speedsters, um, they're all the ones that create speed force and yeah. can tap into so, so anybody who uses it they can tell yeah so what the speed force is i looked into it barry's speed force is a resemble of hope having hope as for uh bond his resembles anger yeah so it's that's very, why it's like that, negative and the speed that that's yeah. kind of like why him um that's kind of like why um Barry Allen and Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, they're best friends. And there's a reason why people say that that Hal Jordan could uh, could attain the Speed Force if he wants to, and Barry Allen can be a Green Lantern because a Green because the Green Lantern uses hope, it uses uh, it uses a will, you know, yeah. uses your willpower and your and, and the more uh, willful and the more hope you have in you then the stronger your power is. And so that's that's why we do see a lot of times in the comics Barry Allen with Barry Allen and Howard Jordan um, 
Barry Allen uses the Green Lantern power very easily. Yeah. So during the time of Nora and Thawne teaching Nora to, you know, get into the negative speed force, she doesn't have enough anger in her yet in order to enter the negative speed force. Yeah. Just during that time, Iris shows up and um, she gets Nora very, very upset. And that's when Nora was able to achieve and enter the negative speed force. Yes, so yeah. we kind of we get to see that... Um, Nora, Nora isn't, she doesn't believe, she doesn't fully believe in her anger. Yeah. And so because she doesn't fully believe it and invest it into it, then she can't seem to use the negative speed force. But the moment Iris shows up and she triggers it by by kind of like hinting that Barry kind of abandoned her, yeah. abandoned Nora, then Nora truly fully embraces the anger. Yeah. So before Iris returns back, Thong gives her a little bit of advice by saying that she needs both of you to reunite. And you know, um, I like your anger, but don't let it drive Barry away. So it's kind of like, you know, don't get Barry upset because he can also enter the negative speed force. Yes, yeah, so that, yeah. that's, that's a good hint mm -hmm. about obviously the comic, guys. If you guys haven't, if, if you guys haven't seen it, um, but there is... Um, like in the New 52 stories and stuff, Barry does get thrown into the negative speed force by Thawne, and then it triggers Barry's anger. So when it does, then he's like using the negative speed force. Yeah. So during all these time of happening, we get the other side of the story. So the Snow family finally meets. Caitlin's mom is working at her company, and the father, um, he is high school now, and he comes and steal a cyo generator. Cryo. Cryo. <laughs> Cryo generator and like um, they call in Team Flash, you know, and like both mother and daughter are arguing and they're like, you know, trying to figure out Icicle's plan and it gave like Barry and like Joe kind of like a uh, awkward moment, you know. And then Icicle comes and take both Caitlin and her mother away. And so both the mother and daughter, they wake up and they're in the hidden lab where like, you know, they used to put all their stuff in like the best projects hidden away from everyone. And they're still bickering and everything, but you know, eventually they calm down and um, um, figure out when Icicle came in and he's like, you know, it's ready for snowpack or stuff like that. And it got them to realize that Icicle was planning to turn the mom also into a metahuman and so that's why he was doing that and then um, the mom is in the place so he takes the mom out and tries to turn her into a human I mean a metahuman and during that time Kayla Frost was able to come out and get into a fight with Icicle while Flash is there saving the mother so um, it, we, get, we finally get to see what, what the ice school character was trying to do. He obviously is just like, he's kind of like the bad side to the dad. And so he wanted to have a family of, not just his family, but everyone to be like him. Yeah. And so he was going to turn the mom first and then use the technology that the mom had developed to uh, blast his powers and convert everybody in the city to be like him. So, um, he threw her mom, Caitlin's mom, his wife, into the cryo chamber and started converting her into a meta -heat. Yeah. So, you know, the uh, Killer Frost and Icicle gets into a fight and then, you know, as Icicle is about to, like, kill her, um, the father kicks in and take over the body, you know? Yes. So, everything goes well. So, pretty much Icicle disappears and everything. And just when we think everything is fine, um, Cicada, Grace, comes in, bah, and bah, bah. she steals that, whatever, generator, and, yes. like, she gets into a fight with, uh, uh, Killer Frost, and she ends up killing the father, her father, in yes. his form. So, her father passes away, and he, uh, Cicada is able to get away with that, and then we get a little scene of her, um, she was able to ki kidnap, um, Grace from Her the hospital herself. herself, the little one of herself, and taken away and um she has that generator and she tells little Grace that it won't be long until everything is done. So she is planning something. Something big. Because as as we all know, 
what iSCO is trying to do is that thing is a like an emitter. It's like a transmitter on a large scale. So obviously she has the power to kill to dampen meta powers. Yeah. So in a way this is she might be doing a super dampening. Yeah. So um, then we go back to the lab and Caitlin tests her mom and says, don't worry, you're not a meta human. Uh, at least we thought. Mm -hmm, at least we thought like her blood was still like after all the mix and everything, it was still like green, you know. So like, Caitlin's like, don't worry. If you were to become a meta human, it would turn white. And so Caitlin throws it into the um, disposable box and they leave as uh, mother and daughter to go, you know, have a little coffee dinner together. And they show the box and it turned white. Yep. So the mom will probably be our next meta human that shows up. Yes. Yeah, since well, the dad died. Yeah, so yeah. so um, obviously we don't know yet what the role the mom's going to have because um, up to this point, she hasn't really been in the story. Yeah, she showed up like a while back in like the Savitar um, episode, season where uh, yeah. her and that was when Caitlyn was trying to figure out about Killer Frost. And we get a little bit of that and then uh, we get, you know, this season... Uh, Caitlyn going breaking back into her lab, but her mom and her never get along. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then um, Iris comes back, and pretty much she tells Barry what she did and everything like that. And uh, Nora is gone, you know, she's out there somewhere, and they talk it out, and they work things out. And then um, we get the preview of Gone Rogue. Yeah, so the, so the very, very final scene... Nora does come back. She mm -hmm. she she by using channeling the negative speed force, she was able to travel through the negative speed force timeline and was able to go back in time to uh, bury their current time. And so in her, she has a return entrance very similar to Thon when Thon first showed up in season one. So it's it's going to be interesting to see how things turn out because as we all know. Um, the the negative speed force the more you use it the more it just corrupts you yeah her eyes are like red like how thorns were you know right and like she kind of has some dark black in her outfits and everything and then the preview that shows her recruiting a lot of uh, the previous villain like that guy that bends uh -huh. <laughs> And then they kidnap like Cisco and Ralph and stuff like that. Yes. So um, that is actually today's episode, which uh, we will watch, and then that review will come um, by the end of the week. But yeah, like um, so far, they've been like focusing on like Nora and like throwing in little things of Cicada here and there only. So yeah, yeah it's like feel like Cicada will be like the big battle towards the end or something like that but um we did get some previews some spoiler that um thon will be fighting barry yeah, yeah so we did we did get some spoilers about pretty much about how everything's going to be ending um that thon will end up helping barry catch cicada um and then um thon and barry will duke it out again so we're it's going to be a very intriguing ending that's definitely going to lead up to a big um, cliffhanger. Yeah. It looks like it's a cliffhanger season. like Kind of like season one was a yeah. cliffhanger. It looks like this one's going to be another one of those. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, we have like three episodes left and there's like so much going on and like, you know, if we know for sure it's going to give us a huge fat cliffhanger where we have to wait a whole summer just to see it yes <laughs> the whole summer yeah by then it'll be like other superhero movies already mm -hmm. but yet um <laughs> this episode really like hit Ajashi us when like the whole conversation between Barry and Iris we were kind of just like my god yeah it was very frustrating yeah I, they, they did a really good job acting that scene out and and cause um, it, it, it was one of those things where, especially if, you, if you've if you seen every single season of The Flash, like we have, you it, it really, really, like, makes you annoyed mm -hmm. with how Iris approached it. Because mm -hmm. for Barry, like, Thawne doesn't do anything without his benefit. Like, he doesn't care about Nora. 
He doesn't care about Barry. He doesn't care about anybody. And the reason for that is because he's jealous of Barry. He's jealous that he can't be the Flash. And so he wants to destroy the Flash. And it's just one of those things where when he found out that, okay, this is his daughter, he knows Barry will never hurt her. Mm -hmm. And he used that for his advantage. And it's just one of those things where, like, because Iris totally ignores that fact. She, and it's, not, it's not just that she ignores it. She knows it, but she yeah. ignores it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. To the, so it's just really annoying. But I got to give my hats off to Candace Patton because she did a really good job back in that part. Yeah, and, like, man, like, if, like, I'm sorry, but, like, then, like, if someone was to, like, say something like that, you would be exactly like how Grant yeah. portrayed Barry. Like, yeah. like, what the hell? Like, why don't you see it? Like, what, what's wrong with you? Right. Yeah, like, it was... Uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> that is it for this flash review, and um, we will see you guys in the next flash review.